Hello! Earth Day's effect on the tech world has been good stuff this week. Google has been celebrating in their own way, and one lucky lady even found a video game treasure at Goodwill. So much more. Watch me, because I love you. <laughs> Have you guys noticed Google's homepage has a specialized logo when it's an important holiday? Well, Google Doodle honored Earth Day this week. Yep, Monday the 22nd was our Mother Earth's Day. Very important day to hug trees and eat fast food hamburgers. <laughs> no. Anyways, it was cute. There were all different kinds of sketches of the Earth's bounty, including caves, fish, mountains, animals, flowers, etc. Speaking of the Earth, reusing items is good for the planet, right? Well, what if I told you someone recently walked into a Goodwill and made the thrift store score that will make your head do this? <laughs> One lucky lady found an ultra rare NES video game for $7.99 at Goodwill. One man's trash, that's another man's come up. Thank your granddad for donating that. Sorry. <laughs> Had to. This game is Stadium Events, and its rarity comes from its limited release before Nintendo recalled and repackaged it as World Class Track Me. Just a few copies of this game has been out there on eBay and for a ton. Like back in 2011 when one sold for almost $23,000. You guys, I printed this out. I have to show you this. Okay, I don't know if you can see this. $75,000 for a game. For the same game this lady found. Not how much she's getting for it though. But cool. <laughs> collect, keep collecting y'all. I don't care if you're a nerd, collect. Anyways, after this miracle find at Goodwill, the woman apparently visited a video game store and not only did the clerk's head also, but they could not meet halfway on a deal. Only catch is a small snag on the wrapping of the game, but regardless, her profit is expected to be around $10,000. Envy. Google recently announced they will be partnering with Duke Energy in efforts to push renewable energy development. What would this do? Provide incentive to electrical providers such as Duke to commit more rapidly in clean energy. Yay! Even cooler, this could allow Google's data centers to go green. Apple might hop on board too. Google's new plan must be authorized on a state-to-state -state basis, but it is planning on starting in a location that can benefit many companies, including itself, Apple, Facebook, and more. A woodpecker inspired a new kind of cardboard helmet for cyclists? Well, a nice little birdie. Put a bird on it. Sometimes I just can't help myself. You wanna know how this happened? <laughs> Well, the manner in which a woodpecker is able to constantly peck its head against a tree and still protect its noggin is influencing a radical new design. That looks like it hurts. How have they been doing that? <laughs> These birds headbang like 12,000 times a day at a speed of six to seven milliseconds. And their brains don't suffer damage. Like they still know their ABCs and stuff. So at first, this man tried every material he could think of, rubber, cork, carbon fiber, and put each of his 150 samples through crash tests. Winner? Cardboard. But a particularly, but a particularly designed dual density cardboard with an internal honeycomb structure. Now, here's something technical and scientific. Hexagonal elements exist all over nature and also provide protection from impact in almost all directions. You as cyclists, look for the product called Cranium in stores. These inanimate objects sure do appear to be loving them. Are you a fan of agua? Water? That clear, tasteless, delicious liquid that makes up to 60% of our entire bodies? Best thirst quencher ever. Thirsty. These pretzels are making me thirsty. Sorry about that. Now, are you a fan of alarm clocks? <laughs> Rhetorical question. Well, this device is not only an alarm clock for $11.99 from my friends at thinkgeek.com. It is powered by water. It's attractive, and you can put flowers in it. So it's also like a vase. 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 I gotta get that word down. 
Funny thing I read about the water power clock is it can be fueled by pretty much any liquid. Coffee, soda, beer, or balls. Yes, balls. Drawback, flowers aren't included and neither are the batteries or the water. Good luck finding any of those necessities anywhere. Last topic is my fave. For so many reasons, so I will start by asking myself a question. Daria. What's up? Would you drink from a water bottle made of raw sewage? Uh, totally. That's funny because I know she's not kidding. Have you seen the amazing things they can do with poo? <laughs> that was unnecessary, sorry. You can even turn it into clean water. Although it being a rather unappetizing image, thanks to bioplastics, raw sewage transforming into plastics are becoming real. In America, we deposit 7 million tons of dry, solid sewage stuff every year, obviously. So how can it not be a useful technological product? Huh? There are ample amounts of carbon-rich waste that is now in use for the bioplastics industry. Tech turning waste into plastics. So cool. I mean, look at all those bottles. They're just sitting there. And just sitting there. I am just sitting here. See you next week. Like, subscribe, comment below. I'll read everything, I promise. Goodbye. With poo? With poo?